And then from there, uh, two more shots came through the, wind, the driver's side windshield, pretty much right at me. For the first time, a Lakewood police officer describes the night a suspect ambushed him and his partner. It's a Denver 7 exclusive. His shooter now convicted two years later and waiting to be sentenced. Liz Gillardi sat down with Agent Jonathan Key as he goes into detail about what happened. She's concerned that he's not in his right mind. Within two minutes. He says specifically he has three guns. The call went from a welfare check to. Says he's in the bed of his truck. Copy shots fired. We need fire to respond. Officer down. And I was just basically pulling into where I was going to stop and park. You can hear what Agent Jonathan Key rolled up on that night. She was told if she calls the police, there would be a battle. When information finally hit the radio that the male was outside, and he was armed with a gun. And he... Less than 45 seconds after the suspect shot him, 1252, I'm down. the gunman took aim at his partner. 1252 is down, gunfire still going. Moments later, as fast as it happened, a third officer shot the suspect, Gordon Mensch, arrested him. But that's just the beginning for Key. Right. I've had some flashbacks. I've had some other stuff. So. He took us back to the street. It was an ambush. Back to July 5th, 2014, showed us the trail of blood. There was a lot of it. A bullet fragment hit an artery in his elbow. This green paint, I think, was mine. You can kind of see some green here. Agent Key was in his car. He thought the suspect walked up to it, shot him through the windshield and metal surrounding him. He would later learn the man was 96 yards away using a high-powered rifle. Last month, he faced the shooter testifying in court. There's some anger there. Anger for the man who shot him multiple times. A bullet to the chest nearly pierced his vest. A piece of copper from another round lodged in his shoulder. Two years later, it still affects his day-to-day -day life as a Lakewood cop and father of two young kids. Because of still the pain and the weakness that I've got, my left arm isn't as strong as it used to be. So holding him, like carrying him like I used to be able to do and throw him around and that kind of stuff, I can't do. Um, and it's really hard to explain to him why I can't do it. Because I came in from that direction, she came in, she from, came this, in from, this from this direction. As Key and his partner recover from physical and emotional wounds, they not only survived but also returned to work. I would say exceedingly lucky. He's uh, worried about the number of officer-involved shootings we've seen in Colorado over the recent months. 14 officer-involved shootings spanning 90 days from the day after Thanksgiving through February. But sadly, I think it's happening more often. Telling us what happened that night because he wants people to know the dangers officers face. 1055, 1252, and 11. Responding to a call that to him started just like any other. You could back on a welfare check. Just not daddy going to work. It's hopefully he comes back tonight. Liz Gilardi, Denver 7.